Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is a happy guy today because you know I love off-road. You know I love Jeep. You know I love going onto those nice mountain. Finally, I've been able to test the Jeep Wrangler 4xe. This is the first PHEV vehicle in the Jeep lineup and Jeep put all their effort in their best vehicle, which is the Wrangler. So you've got many choices when it comes to personalization, to engine in that Jeep Wrangler, which is one of the off-road king out there. Let's look though at an older publicity, an older commercial, because Jeep has been around for some time. The thrill of the wild. One vehicle captures that feeling with the strength and agility to master most any terrain. Nothing stands in its way. Jeep CJ, like nothing you've ever driven. There's a feeling you can get only in a Jeep. <laughs> Real funny, huh? Um, first of all, when you look at the exterior of a 4xe, you can see some blue accent right there on the tow hook up front. You can see also the same thing in the rear. You can see some 4xe mentioned right there on the hood. And also one thing that's going to tell you that the driver can simply roll on EV power is the charge port right there on the left of the vehicle. You will have some LED also when it's going to come to charging. You will see those blue light flashing. You're going to be able to see easily when your Jeep's going to be full of pure electric energy. One thing that I did not try in the past because we've done many reviews of the Jeep Wrangler is that electric roof. You know one of the biggest problem when I rolled my Jeep is that you have simply two top. You've got the soft top, you've got the hard top. What do you do with the hard top when it comes to summer? You need to put it somewhere. It's real heavy. I cannot remove it alone. But that electric top is amazing. I just love it. You press on the button. There you go. It's closed. You press on that button. It's open. There's some rain out there. Once again, you don't need anything. You don't need tools. You don't need to stop the vehicle, run to the back and simply pull that back and clamp it. No, you just press on the button and I just really enjoyed that roof right now which is going to release me from those two top so what do you think about that which one is your favorite top by the way and i really dig that even with the phev version you still got that great wrangler look great aggressive off-road you can remove the door and it has no compromise that's a big thumbs up on that when you get to the interior it's a real classic jeep wrangler once again with that center screen with the display the only thing that you're going to see which is kind of different is that regen button mode that you can press and it's going to drive like a one pedal drive electric vehicle but not up to that point. I wish they would have improved though and create a real way to do some one pedal driving and maximize the energy that I can get inside. Another thing is going to be those three buttons right there on the side that you're going to be able to change both between full electric, hybrid or simply save your energy for later. Otherwise in inside total regular Jeep Wrangler at the exception that you have a battery right there under the rear seat. When it comes to the engine though, the only engine that you will have mated to that 4xe is a 2.0 liter turbo, four cylinder, 375 horsepower, 470 pound feet of torque. This is nearly up to the V8 that you can get inside that vehicle. You've got two electric engine. You've got also the battery, which is going to be 17.3 kilowatt hours. And all of this stuff is mated to an eight speed transmission. Pure electric range on paper, 35 kilometers, and you can get to a total range of 592 kilometers. Really, what you can do with that electric autonomy in summer, you will have around 40 kilometers of pure electric energy. But when it's going to come to winter, forget about that. You're going to be way far than the announced number. And some people couldn't even drive purely electric. And the Jeep will start the regular engine. And now you're going to spend some fuel. How about fuel consumption though? Well, the 1300 kilometer, around 11 liter per 100, which is not really bad when you consider that another Rubicon will simply go over 16 liter per 100 often though. If you go on a more light foot pedal for a total of 2000 kilometers, 
1200 on fuel, 747 of pure electric, and it's 9.4 liter by 100. On my drive, I nearly did 600 kilometers with that Jeep, 324 kilometers of pure electric energy, 271 with a regular engine, and I've done 8.4 liter by 100, which is kind of really amazing. You know, I really want that fuel consumption in an off-road war machine. On paper though, Jeep told me that you're gonna be able to do 4.8 liters by 100, which is really, really optimistic. Towing capacity, 3,500 pounds. How does it feel behind the wheel? Well, you know, Jeep is not really known to get this comfortable drive on the highway and for everyday driving, but it's got that perfect balance when it comes to going off-road. Make sure that you don't do anything harsh with the truck. Hard braking, hard steering, otherwise you're gonna be fine. I really enjoyed the drive because the fun factor of a Jeep is really high behind the wheels. How about off-road though? The brake pedal lacks some precision with the switch of an hybrid mode and an EV mode you feel kind of disconnected in some kind of way. But it's one of the best machine to go out on trails and you can use your AV power with the low range, with the lockers, with the sway bar disconnected, even on pure electric energy. That I just really love. But if it's gonna be ridden right there 40 kilometers and you're going up in the face of a monkey, well, you're gonna do much lower than that, but still, you're gonna be able to save fuel. Charging time is gonna be around two hours on a level two charger and 12 hours if you're using a regular outlet just like me, but I can live with that. It's really easy. Price can be really hard on your wallet though. It's a Jeep, you still got some incentive, but right here Quebec has decided to remove some before it was eight thousand dollars that you can get now it's five thousand still the federal government is going to give you two thousand five hundred dollars base price is going to be up to sixty one thousand dollar when it comes to a four by he and if you personalize Rubicon uh, many accessories let's say that you add this really nice roof that I just slide the trailer itch and everything that you need the price can go up to eighty four thousand dollars even if you get an incentive though, this is a lot of money. So the minus side, that 2.0 liter doesn't sound really good. Reliability needs to be proven though with that technology. It's really important. Also, even in e-safe mode, you're not gonna get all that energy back just like a RAV4 would do. You won't be able to roll only on pure EV power when it's gonna be winter. There's no QI charger and you can feel that that vehicle is more heavy with the 4x he version when it comes to going off-road or even the road handling on the regular road. On the plus side, this is a war machine, a PHEV off-road war machine. And I'm really amazed that you still get all the capability of a Jeep, even if you decide to go green. How about that off-road in low range? even pure electric, that's a double thumbs up on that. It really works well, that's what I like of it. And how about that electric roof over time? How will it be? But I really like the fact that I'm not gonna handle two tops anymore. Also, be careful on the highway though, 96 kilometers maximum if you want to close that roof. This Jeep is strong, this Jeep, you can customize it with all the available parts that you have this Jeep is a real Jeep, even if you get a mention for by here on top. If you plan to roll on the road only and be more fuel efficient than ever or simply maximize your EV power, feel free to go with a Sahara version and not a fully loaded Rubicon though. Although that I really like this version. Okay, now the big question, will I change my older Jeep for a 4 by e well, maybe if I add 100 kilometers of pure electric autonomy available, why not? Even more with the V6 engine mated to that technology. Otherwise, I'm gonna wait for a Jeep with a bigger battery. How about you? Feel free to comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you another time.